In the early 1990s, while I'm Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, and we're endeavoring to make progress in on Cambodia, in bringing about a supervised democratic election, putting Cambodia back together, connecting it to the international community, while at the same time getting access for POW MIA accounting from Vietnam. And in doing this, keeping pressure, economic pressure on Vietnam was critical. And to be very frank and very forward, a number of our very close allies were very anxious to move ahead with Vietnam. And despite our imploring them to hold back on investment, hold back on aid programs, hold back on trade, countries like Australia and, uh, and, and, and France and Germany and others in Europe were going ahead, thought that we were being too hard, didn't want to miss opportunities. But the one country, the one country that was absolutely America's single best friend in POW MIA accounting was Japan. Vietnam, North Vietnam, they wanted Japanese investment. They wanted Japanese aid. They wanted Japanese trade in the worst way. But Japan saw its interests in being the best friend to America. And they did it and they held tough and their pressure on Vietnam by holding back on that economic development was a huge factor in our getting greater access, greater accounting for POW MIAs and getting North Vietnam to be pushing for the Cambodian settlement, working through its allies who were very powerful in that country. You know, not all of my colleagues in the State Department were willing to go up on Capitol Hill and say that Japan was our best friend, but I always did. And as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, confirmed by the Senate, I spoke what I believe to be the most accurate uh, assessment. And I had been Deputy Assistant Secretary in the Bush 41 administration, and I continued in the Clinton administration going across both in both political parties implementation of Indochina policy. In fact, I was the only State Department official who would work consistently on issues in Indochina from 1990 to 1999 during this period of enormous transformation. But wherever we got, we owed it in significant measure to the friendship that Japan showed to us.